welcome everybody hey, to the Cattle Tribe's eighth podcast. Holy, we're so close to double digits. Oh, oh man, goodness. I'm your host. It's exciting. At, yeah, it is. I'm your host and MC Ethan Berman, and I'm gathered today with Matt Grabowski, Emily Schroeder, and a special guest. Hey, I'm um, I'm 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 Ben Kelder. Wow, <laughs> said with confidence. Uh, ben <laughs> is a friend of Emily and I's, and he also DP'd our first short. It'll be coming out. Yes, it'll be out. It'll be out by the time this one airs. Yeah, we promise <laughs> at this point. Yeah, you know, actually, we don't promise anything can happen. Yeah, but uh, if you watch the Evan Makes a Sandwich short, uh, Ben's one of DP for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he uh, he's a college RTF student here yep. at UT with us and. The dude's making rounds. The dude's <laughs> all over the place. I'm trying my hardest to work myself as close to the bone as I can while still having that little glistening layer of muscle that I need to operate cameras and edit with. <laughs> and to pass yourself off as human. And to pass myself off yeah, as human. Two important things. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Where are you from, Ben? Uh, I'm from a little state called uh, New Jersey. Oh, uh, man. Uh, you mean Chris Christie land? I'm from Chris Christie land. <laughs> yeah, I am from, uh, yes, uh, I am from a state where I could be eaten by my own governor. <laughs> uh, uh, that's always one of the first things people learn about me. I'm glad that I've been set up, so that is the first thing people know about me on this podcast. Other than the title of our podcast, <laughs> well, I, I want to make sure if you weren't like throwing out weird vernacular, you weren't aware of. No, like, no, I just come out and I'm like, "Hey, how are you guys doing?" And it's like d- d- this kind of everyone turns around. Over. It's y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like how I had we had our friend Akira on, who's literally from Nigeria. Mm-hmm. He's been in America for all of. A year year and a half now yep. and I was I'm more worried about Ben <laughs> sounding weird to our ears <laughs> yeah. than Akira because Akira is like so like smooth like, you're yeah. just, like, well spoken you, you love hearing his voice and then you got like, and, hey, and, and, I, and I, kept, I kicked down the door I'm like hey we have a fucking podcast going on in here what are you uh, you got a kid from the Jersey coming down and then uh yeah <laughs> alright well Ben you have a lot of energy going on here and we're kind of worn out from doing 17 different podcasts so how about you lead us off the topics um well let's uh, there's, there's something that I've always liked I always enjoy talking about this. Uh, that it's about something in the entertainment industry that is. Uh, it's kind of to do with all that synergy in the entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um, different brands and different franchises that are that handle canon uh, in different ways. Canon being what is true to the story and what is referenced across all materials. Um, and it pisses me off that some of my favorite franchises have awful canon right. and there's some that steps are taken toward to fix that like Star Wars I, I was gonna say so Star Wars yeah. is like one of the major like long running franchises in American history that just erased part of it because yeah. it was like this is bad it nuked yeah. it's like 40 <laughs> years of stories the Christmas for, special <laughs> the holiday special all of the like the, the do you know there are Ewok movies yeah there are Ewok oh my, movies those movies yeah uh, those are gone. They always off Wolf their Wolf Brindley was in them. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, those are gone. Of uh, like forty years of comics, books, everything, oh, book, all yeah. gone. Dude, the books are so. Like, the Timothy Zahn novels. Yeah, there are so many good books, but at the same time, there are so many bad books. No, for sure. <laughs> hey, so in this, while well, we're done talking about Star Wars, so the little ferret, th- ferret things that sit around the some of the uh, yeah, clone yeah. troopers' shoulders, those yeah. are gone. Those yeah. are out of the canon. Yeah, honestly, kind of good because those things are <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> are, are they force blockers? <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, are there, are like, you guys talking about like there's lizards? There's oh, those also. I, oh, I that's was, another thing. There's no, just yeah, animals that just block yeah, the yeah. force. I've never seen an image of them. I've yeah. only ever. I can't there's different things. They're yeah. called like a something. Yeah, they're yeah. called. They were, they were, they were something. They're midichlorian blockers. Oh, midichlorians are the other thing. I wish we could have cut midichlorians. Oh no, but that's George. George was like, we got to we gotta put this in episode one. Um, it's part of my vision already. Yeah, but that's so, that's so yeah, I, I know this isn't about just Star Wars specifically, yeah. but I guess to tie them together, because yeah. I want to talk about Star Trek after this. Oh my god, I, Star Trek. I, I know you're a huge Star Trek fan. I, I have a Star Trek tattoo. He does. That's, Actually, yeah. we'll, there you we'll, go, internet. We'll, we're gonna put a picture of it up. <laughs> Bring it this in the right thumbnail. Here. I'll send you a high quality of just like, you can see all my pores are out there. <laughs> there you go. No, but it's, the, the weird thing is, I've seen all the Star Trek movies, I've watched mm-hmm. All like, every episode of all the series sans Enterprise. I've yeah. seen a bit of Enterprise, but I've seen all of right. the rest of them. And I just have a Star Trek fan. Like yeah. I, it, most of these weren't intentional. It was like my dad's a Star Trek yeah. fan, or that's, like, how, my that's how most kids I've found today. It's because their parents watched it. Exactly, yeah. but it's like I, I genuinely adore Next Generation and Voyager. I mm-hmm. actually love the series, whatever. And some of the movies are really inspired. Like, yeah. There's some really good things, but it's so weird how they treat. Their, oh their my history. god. Okay, so yeah, for so 
so Star Wars, after they nuked their canon, they were like, they were down to, okay, I only get things that were on screen, mm -hmm. and only the books from, and comics that are released from this point forward. Yep. Star Trek has never had, like, <clears throat> a, 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 like, a solid thing about it. It was always, okay, well, whatever's on screen is definitely canon, and then there's kind of, like, kind of canon, and then there's not, but there's, but <laughs> then some people are like, there's an animated Star Trek series in the 70s, there's an animated Star Trek series, and, so, like, half of the people are like, oh, that's canon, half the people are like, what are you talking about, that's not canon, yeah. but there are two books for Voyager that were written that are the only books that are considered canon, and then anything else is free game. So, like, there's stories where, like, major planets are blown up, and then that's never referenced again because yeah. that was in that story. And then there's stories where it's like, oh, uh, half of the fucking galaxy was blown up, but, uh, hey, in the next book, no one cares because it didn't happen. So, yeah. I, I, I felt like the J.J. Abrams, like, uh, new reboot movies, it did, like, the most Star Trek, Star sorry, Trek thing sorry, of... Could you, could you repeat? Could you read his name one more time? J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams. Juju Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> I bothered the three religions. <laughs> I, I have a little conspiracy about, like, uh, Lucas intentionally tanking the first, uh, the, not the first, but the prequels. Right. <laughs> because he knew that they were going to try to relinquish the series from him. <laughs> I have a little carry where, like, Spielberg pulls him to the side and it's like, listen, <laughs> you have to sell this thing off. <laughs> you, you made your money on merchandise. Right. You're out of here. Yeah. You, you only have so many American graffitis in you, <laughs> True. George. Which, yeah, which is, like, that plays again into with George being like, oh, well, you know, it's my stuff, so this is got This is what's got to go. Mm. This, is, this is what needs to be going in. Gene Roddenberry... He died at midway through Next Generation. Yeah. So everything after that, people were people were just like, ah, uh, I guess we're doing this now. Mm -hmm. So and there's all these different interpretations on how the new movies interact with that. Some people are like, oh, well, the new movie's timeline was exactly the same until the guy in the 2009 one went back in time and fucked the stuff. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, um, well, there's a whole separate timeline that is like coinciding with ours and they interact if you pay attention to like the on there's an MMO Star Trek Online yeah yeah mm -hmm. there's, they have their own storylines and all that which just screws with so much of the canon while uh, you're talking about all these like then how timelines start getting created yeah. in the canon and all that can I tell you how much it pisses me off that I had to explain to my little brother when we walked out of the movie Logan uh, a few weeks back <laughs> and he was like the, as soon as the movie ends the credits start rolling he leans over to me and he goes garbage. And I go, what? what? I know. And I go, what do you mean? And he's like, that's not canon. That's not how it happened. And I had to sit down with <laughs> him and explain to him. Canon. Exactly. Yeah. I had to sit down and explain the idea of alternate universes yeah. in, in comic books. He's a huge Marvel uh, guy, yeah. but he doesn't understand that concept. Right. He right. understands it. He's just like, I, I reject it. And Marvel, like, then you won't like most franchises, my friend. Yeah, he's Marvel like, deals with it. Good. Marvel deals with it pretty well, actually. Yeah. Where they have the cinematic universe, that's its own thing. The, mo the, the movie's are go on. No, no, no you got it. Finish. So the, movies are, the movies are kind of their own thing. And then there's like a main timeline, mm -hmm. which is, I think it's Earth 616. Yes. It's like they have, they go by Earths and then a number. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I, and so that's, that's how they deal with You're it. You're forgetting like, the TV shows on Netflix. Oh, God. The TV shows. Are they technically, those are, those are all canon. No, the, like, are those MCU though? Those are, no, those are MCU. Every single one, Jessica Jones, Marvel Iron Fist, Fist. Yeah. yeah. All of those shows are building at the Daredevil, they're all built the Hell's Kitchen universe. Yeah. And all of those people are getting their own movie afterwards. Oh. Or, or no, that? no. No, they're getting their own they're getting their own special okay. and they're gonna start popping up in other people's movies. Okay. Interesting. So they're building up as personalities. It's okay. just they recognize that there's only so much screen time right. on the film wise. Right. So they're like, Iron Fist won't play as well yeah. on whatever. Yeah, like, that's the thing that a lot of people were mad about was Civil War, right? Where there's all these heroes and then some of them are just kinda like, Hey, I'm here for the big fight and then they check out after that. So, uh, Ant Man. So, yeah, Ant Man no, is like, Hey Ant guys, I'm right. here. And then everyone's like, oh, cool, Paul Rudd. Yeah. I'm still, love the guy. still messed up from when Evan made that comment about Vision making the paprika for oh, Us yeah. the Witch. And she tastes it and goes, this isn't paprika. And he's like, if Vision's omnipotent, what was in the paprika? <laughs> Listen, dude, some people just can't. They just can't cook, you know? What if just, ooh, now I have a theory. What if that's him trying to be more human? Like, right. he's trying to oh. make a mistake, so he's like, oh, look, human mm. thing. <laughs> well, when he picks this topic, I was really struck because, like, I read a lot of comics. I'm really in the whole, like, scene for that. And it's, like, in my head, I'm like, one shot to the future, right? Like, yeah. I, I, I've become a major fan with comics and games mm -hmm. of... 
I just want a confi- that's why I love Logan so much mm, is such I want movie. something that goes here's a universe mm-hmm. right like you know the characters and you yeah. know the tropes you know the whatever we don't need to waste time like every right. time I swear if Spider-Man Homecoming starts <laughs> off with PETA flashing back to Uncle Ben getting shot and him doing whatever I'm like I get it how up all the different versions of Batman's parents yes. dying we, we've known <laughs> since like, I would say from the 60s on we've been saturated in every single form yeah. of medium yeah. this story it's part of the lexicon like you don't need yeah. to describe me who Jesus yeah. is like, like <laughs> oh. right you know? and I feel like good good like writers understand right. that mm-hmm. I understand they're trying to appeal to mass markets and blah 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 but like without like Kill Bill, right? Mm-hmm. Like that one of the greatest monologues of all time is when mm-hmm. Bill's explaining like why he likes Superman above all the other superheroes yeah. is because whatever. And I'm like, he doesn't have to explain. Oh, by the way, Batman's backstory is his parents are killed. <laughs> it's like it's part. Here's a great original film, and it's referencing superheroes because they're American mythology, right? Mm-hmm. And that's why that's where I've noticed a lot of this new media is is yeah. it's mythology now. Mm-hmm. Like this is our version. Whoa, of, that's weird. I didn't even think mm-hmm. about that. We're all tapped. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, cool. Thor is a revival vibed mythos yeah. from someone else's theology that's now tied to ours. You Whoa. Know? Yeah. We yeah. created our own modern day theology. Yeah. Yeah. That's like if you don't cool. know yeah. if you don't know who Darth Vader is in relation to Luke yeah. Skywalker, you're missing out on like a critical part of American entertainment culture. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, so Whoa. Like that's just like, <laughs> like you blew my mind. Now I'm like thinking like back then. It's we like, broke man. That's all Greek mythology was, man. It was just superheroes at the time. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, nice. it's like I'll, I'll give uh, them this of power. Course, of course, like apologize to anyone that believes in Greek mythology. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, listen, Zeus, he's gonna smite you after <laughs> this podcast. Guy. All right, <laughs> people have literally retcon things. Being like, this god's too OP. I don't like this story anymore. You know, <laughs> broken. No, but you made a great point. Like. Uh, and it's what I didn't realize until a little bit after I saw the movie Logan. So I am like fucking dick rubbing that movie so hard. It's just so <laughs> okay. it's, it's just a good that example. I realized that it, it didn't have an origin story. Yeah. Like it didn't even explain so many of the things. Like whatever uh, I forgot what it was like Xavier's prom that he caused. Yeah. Like uh, obviously there's some catastrophe. Never explained it. I don't care. I could not get lost in the shit. <laughs> I love the fact that it was re- uh, remained ambiguous. Maybe I'm just not familiar with that part of the comics. Whatever. I don't care. It worked that way. It was so good. It was so much show not tell. Like when exactly. he, when he flipped to the page when he's reading Logan's reading the comic book in the bar and you see Rogue on the uh, thing and no sorry Jean Grey and he just like sits there and like kind of like longingly looks at the picture and then snaps out of it and closes like that's all fake whatever I'm like if you've seen all the other movies read the comics you know he had a thing with Jean Grey but if they don't say a single word. It doesn't even explain who that person is. You just know, oh, hey, yeah, Wolverine and Jean Grey had a thing through the comics whatever. Right. And and that's why I think canon... You're, you're right in saying MCU probably has canon locked down yeah. very well. And DC's playing catch-up. Like, everyone's like, oh, they're trying to build... DC has, has been struggling with that. Because mm-hmm. they've got, like... DC is just uh, right up there with Marvel with all those, like, different varying origin stories. But they don't have the Earths, and they don't have all that. Exactly. So they're... they're yeah, they're definitely playing catch-up. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. DC really is. Mm. I mean, so what was the last? Uh, I guess now we're at this point. Yeah, we're just talking about franchises essentially. But yeah. what was the last good DC movie like that you truly enjoyed? You walked out of that theater. And uh, yes. The Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises. The Batman yeah. trilogy, and then after that, it's just like, yeah. Eh. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah, I didn't even bother with Batman versus Superman. Oh, mm-hmm. I, I watched it, and it was it for me. It was uh, right, like, sorry, like wrestling the movie. Like it was, it was literally like a version of WWE with superheroes. Right. Like, oh, brother! <laughs> like, like, come on, just fight already! It's like I'm gonna smack you down, sorry. And they finally. Hey, fight. brother! Why did you say that name? Right. And, and they start fighting, and then someone else pops in. And it's like it's Wonder cool. Woman. Yeah. And it's like I will right, we'll team up. You'll smack this down. There's a diva. And in this corner. <laughs> That's all the movie was to me. I'm like, it's again mythology. Like, yeah. yeah. It's just this whole thing. So. Yeah. But. Snyder to me makes the issue of he takes the mythology seriously in the wrong way. Mm-hmm. You know, like so my my favorite Superman comic line, American Alien by Zack yeah. Snyder. I, I went to Matt. I made sure to read it. I'm like, Thank it's my comic. favorite comic line because it it humanizes Superman. Blah blah blah. But what's great about it is. It's its own universe and it's just one shot. Mm-hmm. Max Lance can, in the future, go do a Justice League one if he wants. So mm-hmm. he can go do a Wonder Woman that's just like that, or this can be the only thing that exists in there. <laughs> and it's like. I've seen Superman done so many times, so many different ways. I don't need to have this recurring arcing. It is what I'm saying is like canon for me more is treat the characters with respect. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can play with them. 
right? I, I have fun with Old Man Logan versus this versus that, mm -hmm. right? So like, I don't need. Um, I, I enjoy the JJ rooms and what the new Star Trek movies, right. just because it's like they're playing with it. I'm, I'm basically yeah. watching. It's a new take. Mm -hmm. It's not messing with characters that you already know. These are new characters. Yeah, it, 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 it's like Kirk Prime right? yeah. versus Kirk. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, right? it's like this is a totally different dynamic, but it's still the characters you like. And yeah. I think I think those are actually. I know some purists who are like these aren't the Star Trek I like, mm -hmm. and I'm like I understand why you're upset, mm -hmm. but for me it's different, and that's why I'm actually more mad at Star Wars is because I think Star Wars is towing the line of they're playing. Hey, it. this yeah. is exactly what you guys They're remember. Playing it very safe. That was a lot of people's problem with the Force Awakens. That's yeah. my problem with Force Awakens. Yeah. It's, very it's literally safe. episode four. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. episode four, but this time, oh, it's a bigger Death Star, and also Han Solo's here again, guys. Yeah, check this out. No, they, they really have that line where Admiral Ackbar is like, "There has to be a vent hole or something in it, yeah. right?" Like no, that's how we did yeah. it last time. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's always a way to blow it up. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just like, it, it was weird because everyone's like, "Ha ha ha!" Like meta <laughs> reference. I'm like, "No, I'm upset." I'm yeah. like, "No, you're just re." using the same plot over mm -hmm. and over again mm -hmm. but uh, so I I'm excited for Last Jedi because I'm hoping that it does that I'm not I'm, not, I'm like hoping it. I, I, it will do something different like mm -hmm. I, I'm, the trailer's I'm, already given me a lot of hope yeah I, I'm, I'm not I haven't watched hope. it did you ever watch the trailer? nope are you planning on it or are you avoiding it I just want to be it? surprised okay I'm normally... then, okay. then I then I suggest you avoid the trailer because there's something in that that I suggest God. you avoid that trailer we can... Wait, Star Wars is so bad at spoiling things in they trailers are. they and are so fucking upset yeah. we can do a whole podcast topic on why is there books mm. in the trailer We've never once seen paper in the entire Star Wars universe. Is... Everything's holodecks, and Luke's like, yeah. you need to train. And there's a there's a bunch of really dusty books in the bookshelf. <laughs> and you look well, at Ray, and I'm before, like... Before, they were like hollow pads and stuff. But you never see books. it. That's the point. They yeah. never see books. That is true. Even, the, like, like, even when you go to the older public, whatever, they're still using holograms. Yeah. It's intentionally a long time ago to get this far away. Yeah. And it's like... There's paper now? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So I'm really interested, like, are these, like, the OG Jedi manuscripts? But anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. great topic, Ben. Hey, everyone. As always, thanks for checking out the podcast. Be sure to check out part two coming out tomorrow, and the rest of the parts come out the rest of the week. Be sure to check the description for the link to the Patreon and check out supporting us at different tiers, different levels, any money helps. Be sure to follow us on social media at Team on Twitter and uh, other various pages. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in later, and have a great day.